I, today I'm going to make some apple, ghost pepper, and molasses wings. And we're going to season these guys up with some Boar's Night Out White Lightning. It's an all-purpose seasoning. Then we're going to smoke them on this Pit Boss pellet grill. And we'll finish them in this awesome glaze. I've got four pounds of wings here. And as my binder today, you've seen me use this many times, I'm gonna use some duck fat. I chose duck fat because it helps put crispy skin and we're gonna be smoking these guys so it's always a little bit more challenging when you're cooking at the lower temperatures, okay? Now, what I did is I took these guys out of the freezer. They were in the freezer, thawed them, dried them off like three or four times with paper towels. And because they were frozen and I'm rushing this cook, they're still just a little bit damp. That's okay. It'll uh, work out just fine, I'm sure. So what we want to do is make sure we get this duck fat on both sides. There'll be a little bit on this tray so that when we turn them over, it'll keep the duck fat on them. Okay. There's our duck fat. Out of season these wings today. You see this, right? World Champion Steak Cook-Off. Association. That's right, this is award-winning barbecue team and rub. It's Boar's Night Out White Lightning. Now this Boar's Head seasoning, right? Salt, garlic, pepper, and quote-unquote spices. I, I, I mean, in interest of full disclosure, we offer this uh, seasoning in armadillo pepper, but since I started uh, uh, using it, I, I just love it. It's one of my go-to seasonings now, all-purpose type seasoning. I mean, obviously there's other great ones out there. I'm just telling you, I really like this one. So, I'm just going to season the other side of these wings, and then we'll make our way over to this Pit Boss pellet grill. And for my pellets today, I'm using a blend of uh, hickory, maple, and cherry. Now I've shown you many times my heat source is down here on this end so I want to keep these wings for the first half hour or so maybe even an hour away from that heat source. You can see I got a nice smoke going up. I've got this pit boss set on 200 degrees. Now the reason I got it low is to make sure we get some nice smoke in this first like I say half hour to hour. So I'm just going to get these wings on here. We're going to get the lid down and let this pit boss do its job. It's been one hour. We've had this guy set on 200. You can see it's running at 235. Okay. I'm going to click it up now to 300 degrees. We're going to turn these wings over. Put the lid back down. It'll most likely be close to another hour, maybe a little bit less. And as soon as I get them all flipped over and get the lid down, we'll start thinking about this sauce we're going to make for these guys. We're going to start this off with three cups of apple juice. Now I'm going to put all of the exact measurements down below. We got this burner on medium-high. I got a little soy sauce here. Okay. What we got here is apple cider vinegar. Yes, sirree. Right here, I've got some brown sugar. What we've got here, two tablespoons minced garlic. Can't have enough of this good stuff, okay? Yeah. What we got here is molasses. You know, I would encourage you to cook more with molasses. Gives it a great, great flavor, whatever you're using. We're gonna put about two tablespoons. Final ingredient is this uh, Holt sauce ghost chili apple limited edition. This is a hot sauce, okay? Now look, for those of you that watch my channel, relax. Hot sauce has become very, very flavorful. 
it's no longer that scorching stuff, you know, that it was five, ten years ago. You can get spice, you can get uh, flavor with these great hot sauces made by these craft manufacturers. Now this is another newer hot sauce that we offer in our armadillopepper.com. You want to check it out, check it out. Now you can leave the hot sauce out, okay? But you're not going to have any spice. You can put in your own hot sauce. Now the reason I chose this particular one, in fact I designed this recipe around this, is because it's got the apple cider and the ghost chili. It's an awesome flavored hot sauce. Now, you can see this is really thin, just the way it's supposed to be. What we're going to do is bring this up to a simmer, start thickening, thickening, thickening it up. We'll give it a taste and see if it needs anything else while these chicken wings are continuing to cook on this Pit Boss pellet grill. What the heck, I almost forgot my most favorite ingredient. Kentucky bourbon. I'm using Woodford Reserve. You don't have to use this, right? When it comes to cooking, don't use a real expensive uh, bourbon. It's just a waste of it, right? This is like $29.99 a bottle, I think. All right. We're going to put in, I think a half a cup sounds good, don't you? Yes, sirree. Just half a cup in there. That alcohol is going to boil off. I mean, um, at least I think it will. Don't quote me. I'll reduce this heat a little bit before it runs over. Give it a big stir. I know you've heard it a million times, smell vision but it smells great, especially that bourbon. Mm, that apple cider. It's been another 45 minutes, so an hour and 45 minutes total. These chicken wings are getting close to getting done. I'm going to now move them closer down here to the direct heat. You see how that's got a beautiful color? I want to finish getting these guys crisped up. I don't know if that's a word. If not, I guess I just made it up. But a little darker, a little bit more fat off these wings. And then we're going to toss them in that sauce that I've still got simmering over here. Okay? Look, they're starting to look good. Look at that collar. Right? So let me just move all the wings down here closer over the top of where the heat source is. I'm going to put the lid back down. And then we're going to let them go at least 15, 20 more minutes before we check on them again. But they are starting to firm up. Starting to look good, as you can see. It's been two hours total. We've had this sauce going for about roughly 50 minutes. You can see it's thickened up. I'm going to turn the heat off, okay? It's reduced by at least a half, if not two thirds. Now, final step on this sauce. I got three tablespoons of butter, okay? Now I've got the heat off. We're just going to let the Already the heat from this sauce, melt this butter down. And then what we're going to do is toss these wings in the sauce. I've been making wings from year, for years, and I pretty much don't marinate them anymore. I pretty much don't glaze them on the grill or the smoker. Uh, and, the, and the reason the marinade, you don't get much flavor. The reason I don't glaze them on the grill is you got to really watch them or the sauce with these sugars in it can burn. You toss them, you put these wings in this sauce, when they're done, it comes out perfect. So this is pretty much the way I make my wings these days. And you can see, look at the beautiful color on those wings. These wings are perfect. We're gonna put about half of them in here. My son wants some. You guys have probably heard me say this before, he doesn't like anything spicy. I'm going to give him his straight up. Then once you get them in this sauce, just cover them up real good. You can let them sit here for five, ten minutes, right? They'll uh, get stickier. The sauce will thicken up. So after about ten minutes, I'm going to get these guys out of here. We'll plate them up. And you know what we're going to do. Taste test. 
just for looks. Got some red pepper flakes here. You can leave this out if you want. But I like my wings a little spicy. The red pepper, it's easy for me to say. Red pepper flakes look good on those wings. And they will give it a little spice, not a lot, right? Okay, just a few on there. Okay, now, now we're going to come in. I got some uh, green onion, just the green part chopped up, right? Look, they look kind of good, don't they? Don't you think they look good? Yeah, it's getting there sticky. We're going to give these a try in just a minute or two. I can't wait, right? We use this uh, ghost chili apple hot sauce. Like I said, you can leave that out if you don't want anything spicy, but it's got apple cider ghost. is going to pair perfect with this apple cider in that glaze. And of course, we had a little uh, Woodford Reserve bourbon. Like, like I said before, don't use an expensive bourbon. You want to leave the bourbon out? You can. All right. We're going to give one of these a try. Just look. I hope you can see that. The color on them is perfect. They're good and sticky from that molasses and cooking everything down. <laughs> Those are excellent wings. I don't know how well that shows up in the camera. They're plenty juicy. I hope you can see that anyway. Mm. I gotta eat the whole thing before I tell you what it tastes like. Okay. Oh my gosh, they're good. You get the smoke. Um, the last thing I get is just a little bit of spice. Now, hot wise on a scale of one to 10, they're a one or a two. Now, obviously, you could have put in two, three times as much of the hot sauce. You can make these as hot as you want. Hey, thanks a lot for watching this video. If you're not a subscriber, I hope you hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below, please.